Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this Lily's, it's new, toaster grills. Hot and crispy from your toaster. Normally, I do, would never do a toaster meal. I would only do a uh, microwave or just something you, uh, you know, hot water or something like that. Or just a sandwich without being it. This one is, you have to have a toaster for it. I did not realize that when I bought them, honestly. I know it says from your toaster and I flipped it over. I saw the microwave and I went, oh, that's okay. We can do that. You do need a toaster. So just let you know. So this one is the grilled ham and cheese sandwich uh, with cured lean ham. It is from Lily's Fast, Easy, No Mess, With Love. There are two uh, sandwiches in here and keep frozen. Um, it's 7.4 ounces or 210 grams for both, I'm assuming. Uh, Meyer had these for $3.99. And let's see. One sandwich is 330 calories. And like I said, there's two sandwiches in the box. And there's your other info. Whatever you want to take from that, go for it. There's if you want to know some about lilies and the directions. All right, here they're on top. So, um, do not insert metal objects in the toaster. That's bad. So we're going to remove the sandwich from the plastic wrap. We're going to microwave the sandwich for 30 seconds. I'm assuming that's just a thought out a little bit. Sit your toaster to medium to high settings, medium high, depending on your toaster. I'll probably put mine on. We have uh, what one to five. I'll probably put mine on three and a half. And then um, toast toast the sandwich for one cycle. So let's see what these look like. There are not a pull tab on these. So. Oh, okay. So they're pretty thin. They're not very thick at all. Wow. I mean, really thin. Um, so I'm going to get, I'll get, I'll put that one in the microwave. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and for 30 seconds and I'll stick it in the toaster and um, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, so here it is out of the toaster. I went through the microwave cycle and the toaster cycle. I did put it on three on the toaster, just actually a little bit above three, but anyway, three out of five. So I'm gonna cut it to let you see what it looks like. And um, just to let you know, I got these handy dandy toaster tongs. These work really good for getting stuff out of your toaster, by the way, if, they're, if it's hot. So this is what it looks like inside. It's very, very thin. So you get, it looks like you get one slice of cheese and one little thin slice of ham on these and the bread. So, um, so anyway, I'm going to uh, take this over to the table and I'll be back. Okay, I gave it a minute to cool off. Um, I think it should be okay. The, um, I think you could probably, if you wanted to, you could probably just microwave this for a minute, minute and a half, and it would heat it up. The bad thing is the bread would be um, soggy and wet. I don't think it, or it would be really, really tough. Um, one way or the other, I don't think it would work as well. This actually made it like crispy. Mm. I love a grilled cheese anyway, and I've made grilled cheese with ham. And I really like the flavor of this. I don't know what kind of cheese this is. It's a white cheese. Is it Swiss? Ham and cheese is all it says. Um, oh, let me look at the ingredients real quick. White bread. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I'm trying to see what kind of cheese this is. Yeah, Swiss. Swiss dash American cheese. That's what it says. That's what I thought it was. It's like a Swiss cheese. It's not quite as strong as like a pure Swiss cheese, but it is a Swiss like uh, cheese texture and flavor. Um, I think it's pretty good. I like the crispiness of it. I worried about the bread being really thin, but it's not dense or anything like that. It's just got a, a nice crispy texture. You could probably even microwave this and put it in a pan and like heat it up in a pan if you wanted to. But again, the toaster was just super easy. Um, a toaster oven might work. I don't know. You make toast in a toaster oven. I don't know. I don't use toaster ovens all the time. So I think this is good. It's not gourmet food by any means, but it is good food. Um, that being said, I'm going to give it, I wish it had more ham and cheese on it. I wish there was even just one more slice of ham and one more slice of cheese on it would have put it over the, put it up there. Um, but the way it is right now, you can taste that smoky ham flavor and you do taste the cheese and the bread and the toasty flavor. You get all that, it's just I really wish there was more of it. So um, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I really do like it. I think they're an excellent product. Um, if you have a toaster in, at work, 
Take one of these and make one. I think you'll like it. Or take two and make make two. Um, if you got a toaster at home, of course, you can make them at home as well and have them for a, a lunch or even dinner if you want to. Have them have one of these with some uh, potato chips. I think it'd be awesome. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.